What's up guys, it's Mel back with another video and today we are gonna be talking about my May budget and I just have to check to see what we did in April because April I think we finished, yeah we did, we finished on the second. So I'm going to do one because last week was like a kinda half a week. So I'm gonna include the first, um, I lied. I'm gonna include the third to the ninth and then next month I'll be sure to reconcile everything for April or I'm sorry for that month only going forward so let's jump right in and the first thing that we got to talk about is my actual week and that was a little crazy um, a lot of stuff happened you know our states supposedly being opened up but we're not entirely sure so we're kind of just like in limbo at the moment but yeah so that's pretty much what we're doing here um but i wanted to start by going over my actual like expenses for the week and so because we're starting on the third my first bill was actually this month we, i mean this week we did okay we actually did pretty okay so i'm going to be using my paper mate flare pen which is awesome and the first bill that I see was um, five four and that was for um, it's actually a bill which was Victoria's Secret so I'm just gonna put BS and that was seventeen dollars and eighty three cents and that should have cleared out my full amount for that month I mean for the for the account and I just have to double check because I noticed that Victoria's Secret was trying to charge me a late fee um, because I had like a five dollar balance left and they charged me the excess of that five dollars which is crazy it's like twelve dollars and eighty three cents or so and then another bill that I had was two hundred dollars and that was for uh, Home Depot which again these are all bills that would have came out anyways and that was on the fourth as well and didn't good so that was a debit that was a need that was a debit that was a need and then the next thing that we had was on the on the eighth and that was another bill it was 137 71 and that was our internet internet and security system and that was a debit that was a need and then the next one was also a bill actually there's two bills here so I'm just gonna put them it looks like everything came out on the 8th honestly so this one was a thousand that's consumer debt and again we're paying that aggressively and because I want to be done with that as soon as humanly possible <laughs> so that's why it's so aggressive and again you'll see another second paycheck where it's going to take out another excess of that amount as well this is um a charge for google as you know i have google services and that was a debit and that was a want actually so that is pretty much how we're starting off the month i forgot to mention that we did have our uh groceries come out too i'm just going to put groceries here and groceries were for the month i'm trying to figure out here Oops. i don't know what just happened but something just happened groceries were on the fifth yeah groceries were on the fifth and as you guys know, due to the times, there's stuff that's not at one grocery store, and that was $38.56 for those. And then we had to go to another grocery store to get the rest of the stuff. Actually, we had to go to three. We had to go to three different grocery stores, actually. So I'm going to put that all here. And they were all on the same day, which is crazy. And as you guys know, our household comes out of a different account so that's why I'm like all over the place but one was $2.99 and then the other was uh, 14 
21. And those were all needs as well. So you guys can see how we're going here. So the sun just decided it wanted to come back out and so I hope you guys can see my paper. And then what we're gonna do is grab one of these little stickies. As you guys know, we do food. Let me just see what our categories are. I, I forget all the time. Food, gas. It actually did not have gas at all. Shopping and miscellaneous. Okay, we're probably gonna have some miscellaneous um, things this month because of Mother's Day and birthdays and I don't factor that in, but I may be able to factor it in into my shopping budget, so I'm not entirely sure yet. So, I need to put groceries here. Groceries, okay. So I don't count anything that has already been budgeted, so like all these bills here, bill, 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 uh, bill, bill, just groceries. So gas, we had nothing, shopping, we had nothing, miscellaneous, we had nothing and just food this this week so the food was $38.56 plus the and I'm using my cell phone here you guys can probably not see this I don't sun is like all over the place so $2.99 plus $14.21 and that was a total of $55.76 so that is our week let me go to our next page on this and that's food groceries okay so here we are we spent and I hope again I hope you guys can see this because like I said it's the Sun is all over the place today so we spent fifty five dollars and fifty six cents so fifty five seventy six sorry and then no gas no shopping and no miscellaneous so as you guys know we budget three hundred and sixty dollars so we go back here and three hundred sixty dollars minus the fifty five seventy six that is a positive number of um, three oh four uh, twenty four so we're doing pretty well so far for the month which is nice and yeah, see, the sun is like all over the place, but 304.24 is what we have still in our budget, which is nice. So there's no difference. I'm gonna put a little thing here. There's no difference for shopping yet, no difference for gas, no difference for miscellaneous. And we are actually, I wanna write something here because we are under budget, under budget for the week. So that's what I put in that little corner. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I put under budget for the week and that's good. So let me see if there's any like little stickers or anything I can put here. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna use this little check mark just to say we're doing well. That little check mark here. So that's awesome. Alrighty. So that is my weekly check-in, and as you guys know, we're gonna go feed the pig. We got some other things to do. And they did my expenses. That I'll have to do in another video about bill pays, because I didn't even budget for the month of May with you guys, which is crazy. But we're we're gonna be okay. We paid all these bills. We paid this bill as well. And we also fed the pig which I'll talk about. We did not get gas, which is nice because we don't have anywhere to go anyways. We didn't do shopping and we're under budget there. And yeah, we could, we're could. we gonna feed the pig actually a couple times this month. So let's switch over to our next budget page. And I, oh, so you guys know about my debt tracker as well. And our debt tracker is kind of like going really well, I would say. And what I want to do is go in and color 
$200 here. Actually, I'm gonna use a different color because this is too dark. This color, which should be the same. Um, but yeah, let's go into this one. So this one, we did $200 already. So we're gonna color in a square here. And what's happening is, is that as we go, each of these squares are gonna be a, a different amount. So for C4C it's $200. And in the months, we're trying to pay $1,000 for C4C and extra for the consumer debt and $1,000 for Nelnet, $200, which we did pay for Home Depot. And Home Depot, too, we have to pay a lot more because it, we just have to. This thing has 60 little squares. So if we do 60 squares to get to that number for this one, it's going to be a lot so we just pay it well spend like 263 dollars so we're close i want to put another like four or five hundred dollars on this one next so that's where we are for the debt progress i think let's check yeah that's where we are for the debt progress for now and then let's move on to the next page we're gonna go to my savings. Oh, you guys, let me zoom you guys out. And so for this one, we are now at $7,000. And I wanna use a different color. Let's go, let's go orange now. So here we just fed the pig another thousand. So we're at 7,000 now, which is awesome. Yeah, so awesome. So we're moving along to our $30,000 goal. And I want to use one of my stickers to say we're at 7,000. And as you guys know, I have the Feed the Pig stickers, these little stickers here now that show for 7,000 and I'm going to put that in this color just to say where we are so I'm really excited about that because as you guys know we've been working really really hard to get to a higher dollar amount and it's really we're doing really really well so that is that and then my savings goal we are at f exactly 1500. Oh, sorry. I fed the pig this month, this this weekend for um, my side hustle, but I don't think we hit that number just yet. So let me see where we are. No, we're not at 1500 just yet. So everything else should be the same. And I haven't gotten any savings. I could not put feed the pigs for the real estate or for my new laptop which I do need and nothing for our vacation just yet but I do want to tell you guys about my side hustle transfers uh, for this month it is a little bit slower because of some things that are happening and so I don't know how we're gonna look for the side hustle transfers going forward but I'm trying my best to keep up the momentum and get people you know to want to check out my side hustles and like by you guys looking at my videos that's really really helping a lot um, so we had a side hustle transfer of only $87.79 on Wednesday which is tremendously lower than what I would typically have so it's kind of hurting my you know what my plans were but Again, all my side hustle money goes to savings. It goes to trying to pay off student loans. And as you guys know, my student loans in another video I showed you, which was astronomical. So any little dollar helps. And I would really appreciate if you guys liked, shared, showed my videos and supported me on this debt pay down journey. So that is pretty much all I have for this video. Um, again, this check-in was from May 3rd to the 
um, May 3rd to the 9th and we're doing pretty well so far in the first full week of May and I can't wait to see how we do in the last three full weeks of May as well. So continue to check in with me, continue to you know, let me know how I'm doing and I will hope to see you guys in the next video. All right guys, well, thank you for watching, bye.